All right, I'm here today to show you a technique that I developed out of necessity. One, because I can't dig a hole anymore like I used to be able to. And two, because where I live, it's very difficult to dig a hole. So the first thing that I'm going to show you is this plumbago, which has never been planted in the ground. It is still in its pot. But I did something different, and you can see it now on this side, that it's pretty thick and lush, and it's six feet tall. And to prove to you that it's still in a pot, I'm going to show you that the pot is right there. So the, I cut the bottom of the pot out and I put a little peat moss there and I started watering it. And what happened is the roots just grew right through um, into the soil and they developed there. And it's pretty lush, you can see it. This is another example of a plant that I never took out of the pot. This is a wisteria. And you can see it is still in the pot, but the hole in the bottom is big enough where it's draining water that the roots were able to go through the hole in the pot and get in the ground. And as you can see, it is not suffering at all. This is another little plant it was, it's not in the ground either, and it's growing. It is in a um, cocoa fiber planter, and it's stuck in here, and it too grew through the cocoa fiber and into the ground to um, root itself. These little purple guys are pots in pots. I did the same thing. I cut the bottoms of the pots off and I merely set them in a pot with dirt, as you can see the pots. And they are, and the pot too, that they're sitting in, the bottom has been cut off. So it's sitting on the ground. So it's got perfect drainage. And, and these are my, oh, and there's one other one. This is, behind the plumbago is a bleeding heart. And the bleeding heart is, as you can see, vining all the way up there. And there is the pot that it is in, also rooted through the hole. And let me take you back over here so you can see how abundant and lush this is no digging any holes so that's it good luck